Something is interesting I would like to ask you. Do giraffes get struck by lightning more often than other animals? The question itself appears funny. You may even consider it silly or think that it is something a kid would ask when learning about various kinds of animals, and will leave you absolutely speechless. After the initial shock, you will probably struggle to respond and get intrigued. Do giraffes really get struck by lightning more often than other animals? On some level, it kinda makes sense considering that giraffes are taller and pointier compared to other land animals. Therefore, it makes sense. But is it true? Well, wonder no more. We are here to investigate and solve this mystery and give you the answer. If you are intrigued by questions like these and eager to learn, obtain knowledge and interesting facts, please like, subscribe and hit the notification button on our channel. That way you can stay up to date on all the interesting facts your brain feels eager to obtain. Knowledge is power. Let's help spread it. Believe it or not, the question of whether giraffes get struck by lightning more often than other shorter animals is nothing new. Interestingly enough, it became quite popular on the Reddit platform, when one Reddit user woke up from a vivid dream in which giraffes were being struck by lightning of all things. His response? He didn't know the answer. And the question was too intriguing to be left unanswered, so naturally he headed to Reddit and posted his burning question in the Ask Science subreddit. Interestingly enough, his question quickly became the most popular ubiquitous question ever asked on the forum, and intrigued thousands of people piquing their curiosity and prompting to find a legitimate answer. An avalanche of various responses and theories, all with interesting cases, have been reported. The first obvious reason as to why giraffes may potentially be more prone to death by lightning strikes is due to their height. They are some of the tallest animals in the animal kingdom after all. Some science blogs give another potential reason which has nothing to do with giraffes' height, but concentrates on the greater distance between the legs of the animal, which makes it more likely for electric current to flow to the animal when lightning strikes. Others reject this view and focus more on the fact that the natural habitat of the animal is a bigger factor worth considering. Even Wikipedia jumps in with their suggestions that giraffes in zoos are at a higher risk, as, quote, they are typically the tallest objects in a zoo. In the wild, this hazard is reduced by the presence of trees. As well, the giraffe's natural habitat range has an extremely low occurrence of lightning. But that is not always the case, as there are cases of giraffes in wildlife being killed by a lightning strike. In 2020, conservationists working at Rockwood Wildlife Reserve in South Africa reported giraffes missing from the local herd the day after a heavy thunderstorm took place at that exact location. Both giraffes aged 5 and 4 years were found lying about 23 feet apart from each other, smelling like ammonia, a clear sign that indicates that they have been killed by lightning. This case has been thoroughly revised and published in the African Journal of Ecology. There it was explained that upon further examination, it was discovered that the first giraffe apparently got hit on top of its head, judging by the fracture of its skull. The second giraffe was not killed from a direct lightning strike. It was killed indirectly from the lightning's dispersal through the air or ground. Similar cases have been reported back in 2010, when Hamley, the giraffe who was widely popular as it had been a constant guest in the ITV drama Wild at Heart, got struck by lightning and killed. Hamley was living in a South African game reserve, and its death shook many people as the giraffe was the beloved character they often go to see on TV. It is clear that giraffes can be killed by lightning, directly or indirectly, based on experience and studies. But is it that common, or are these rare cases? While giraffes getting killed by lightning is not unheard of, it is not actually that common. Even though giraffes are 5 meters tall animals, that doesn't make them more susceptible to death by lightning. Ultimately, there are four ways that a lightning strike can kill a wild animal. It can directly hit and kill the animal. A sight flash that strikes a nearby object wounds or kills the animal. They die from the discharge of lightning that has hit the ground they were walking on. Or they die from touching a stricken object. Yet, this applies to all wild animals, not specifically to giraffes. As the Namibia-based conservationist Julian Fennessy told BBC News in 2010, if you are in the wrong place at the wrong time, you're susceptible. It's not that giraffes stand out like lightning rods. I can think of several cases where a giraffe has been killed by lightning, both from a direct hit and by being struck by a tree that it was standing beneath. But it is still quite rare. Lightning strikes are another risk of the outdoors during a thunderstorm, and all animals can be susceptible to it. And we are still learning a lot about lightning itself too. And many studies show that the height may not even be the leading factor in where lightning strikes, as 27% of the time, depending on conditions, shorter objects get hit by lightning than taller ones. Therefore, it's just another risk anybody takes when standing outdoors during a thunderstorm.